AITA for refusing agree with my co-teacher and grade a student lower? Instead of doing many projects and assigning, grading homework for the 2020-2021 school year. I was given the opportunity to have one major assignment and so I chose to do so. My choice was to have the students spend August until April studying a country and culture and making a presentation on it. Google Slides, dioramas, poster boards, and written and drawn reports were all accepted. Obviously, not everyone has the chance to use updated materials or has internet access and so everyone used what they could get their hands on. My student. Danny did his project on the USSR using outdated world books. 1987. He drew beautifully. He wrote. And he made 10 pages that he. And I. Were very proud of. They were his own words. He wrote about historical figures from the USSR. He talked about the military history. And he did a good job. Everything was correct from that period and he didn't have the internet or anything so he used the resources he had at home to do his best and he did just that. He could do printing at home so he cut out photos from old National Geographic magazines when he needed to use actual photos. I graded him for effort and for the content and it was 100%. He used what he could. He did what he could and the USSR and Soviet culture were very prevalent in Europe at one point. My co-teacher Melissa wants to grade him lower because the USSR doesn't exist anymore but I completely disagree. Danny lives with his grandma. He doesn't have regular internet access. He didn't have the ability or the help to use the internet. And he couldn't afford to print a lot of photos to make a poster board. He made a beautiful report and put a lot of time and care into it and it deserves a good grade. She went to the principal to tattle on me and I told the principal flat out that Melissa could choose to teach with someone else. What she was asking because I was hostile towards her teaching methods. A few other teachers have been telling me that I should have agreed with Melissa to keep the peace. But in my mind. I'm right because my nine-year-old student was counting on me. I don't need to placate my co-teacher's ego or let her go on a fucking power trip over a nine-year-old. NTA. You have to consider what you are trying to teach the children. Are you trying to make sure they know specific facts about Finland? Or are you trying to teach them to research and present information about new subjects? You are what teachers are supposed to be. Nice work. Edited for clarity. NTA. Do these other teachers realize that Melissa wants to penalize a student due to lack of internet access? She must be quite a complainer to bring this issue up to other employees. I would not for one minute give in to this teacher. She has a lot of nerve even making her prejudice public and hopefully she will be called out for it. NTA. JFC he's 9. If you reward him for his efforts by punishing him. He will never put this kind of effort into academia again. NTA. You are entirely correct. You're teaching how to research. And it doesn't matter if he's up to date. Not to mention that penalizing someone for too poor to have internet is a total dick move. NTA. If Melissa's issue is that the USSR doesn't exist anymore. It sounds like she needs to do some research into how much the remnants of that time still affect some countries to this day. What was the kid supposed to do? End every talking point with, but they're gone now and shout out to you for not finding some way to stickler points off of their grade. Especially after the effort it sounds like the kid put into the project. We need more teachers with your mindset. As a teacher. I am horrified by Melissa. He did exactly what he was supposed to. Did the rubric say it has to be a current country? 
if so, then you could conceivably take a few points off. I wouldn't. It's a pandemic. Students are limited to what they can get it. And a little bit of grace can go a long way b. NTA. He deserves his 100%. It sounds like he worked very hard for it. NTA. Give that kid the A plus he deserves. NTA. Good job on advocating for Danny. He put in the work. Learned a lot. And deserves a good grade. Melissa and the other teachers need to understand the reality that some students have limited resources. NTA. You are a great teacher and that boy is lucky to have you in his corner. Melissa doesn't belong in education because she doesn't care about teaching. She just cares about keeping score. NTA. He should be graded based on the quality of his work, effort and what he submitted. Sounds like he also learned a lot. He should not be downgraded because of limited access. That has nothing to do with his actual own ability. How much he learned and efforts to complete the project. Also, it sounds like the assignment was not for a current country or culture but a country or culture. If someone chose to do something about the say Ottoman Empire, would that have mattered? You sound like a great teacher. As a kid who grew up having limited resources compared to some peers and parents who couldn't really help. I always appreciated teachers who understood that. Even more so now than I did back in the day. NTA. Honestly they're nine in a pandemic. Seemingly in an impoverished school. Give them all percent 100. Whatever. This won't get him anything but self-satisfaction. It's weird that Melissa is showing such little compassion for a tough situation. Grading tough doesn't mean you are a good teacher and unless the instruction said it had to be in existing country he did nothing wrong. NTA. Melissa is the kind of teacher who teaches you to put in the bare minimum only. NTA and from someone who didn't have internet access until I had my own home. Thank you. Almost all of my projects I did as a kid or in high school were handwritten. Or on cardboard. Or something other than typed. I didn't own a computer of my own until this year. I used my partner's spare if I needed one. And we never had internet at home growing up. All my research was done at the public library using both books and any the public computers. But most people booked them out in advance. So it was rarely that. Now. My mom knew how hard I had it. But our small amount of income went on necessities and unfortunately. There wasn't any left for things like this. It was a sore spot with her that she couldn't provide for us. Her words so I never made a big deal. About it. A few teachers I had asked me why I hand wrote assignments when the brief was specifically that it was to be typed. I explained the above, and they never had an issue with it. Until once I hit senior year though. It was like it became unacceptable to not have the means to have computer or internet access at home. All of my assignments had to be typed. And when I didn't I lost marks. I ended up spending every lunch in the school library and every spare second out of school. Including weekends. At the public library till close trying to get my multiple assignments done. But since I had so many. I always found that I'd do well on one but not on others since I'd run out of time for final touches. Note. I also had to teach myself how to use a computer in the first place since my mom still to this day cannot use one competently it was tough i tried going to department heads to ask for leniency and although one was sympathetic and assured my i wouldn't lose marks if i wrote it though i still did others told me to suck it up what you did was amazing and i wish i had a teacher like you i think if i did i may not have given up on education and got myself into a better job 
You were this kid's voice when he had none and with your encouragement he will continue to do well. NTA. You graded on the work done. Work done under limited means in an extraordinary year. LMAO it's a 9 year old why is she insistent on it? NTA maybe Melissa should have agreed with you to keep the peace. Or she shouldn't be a whole slew of names I would really like to call her right now. Keep fighting for kids like Danny. This project could be the difference between Danny the dropout or Danny the teacher. NTA and good on you for standing up for your student. NTA. Never compromise, to keep the peace. Trying to get you to do so is an abuse tactic. I am a huge believer that the vast majority of grades before high school level should be based on effort. Especially in a school with probably limited resources and in the middle of a pandemic. NTA. But I actually just came here to say you are an amazing teacher. Well done. You are going to inspire whole generations of doctors, teachers, inventors and entrepreneurs and tradesmen who will change our world and build our future. Keep up the good work. Personally I think you're inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.